friends we have came with yet another problem solutions of applied mechanics and in this video we will solve the problem associated with truss and we will solve this problem with the help of section method and this type of problems are frequently asked in many universities so watch the complete video so friends this is our problem so we are having this truss this truss consists of six panels of equal length of 5 meters so the total length of the truss root truss is 30 meters and we are having the loads at the certain joint points as shown in the figure and we are asked to determine the member forces in the members FH in the member GH GH and in the member GI so this is our problem and now friends we will find out the support reactions in the given truss we are having the in support and the roller support and we all know that in the in support there are two reactions so we have assumed the reactions at the in support as shown in the figure and at the roller support RLY is the reactions acting as shown in the figure so here we will just take the summation of moment at point A equals to 0 and we will just assume that clockwise moment is positive so it is not necessary that you will just have to take clockwise you can take whatever anti-clockwise moment as well so if we take the summation of moment equals to 0 and if we just take clockwise direction as positive then we will get this RLY will be giving this anti-clockwise moment at point A so it gonna be negative here and all these forces one this one force one kilonewton this load is giving your clockwise so 1 into 25 meter will be the distance and likewise this is again 1 kilonewton is again giving you clockwise moment at point A so likewise we can just solve this and we will get the value of reaction R L Y it goes to 7.5 kilonewton so this is upward so we have assumed that R L Y it's in upward directions and this RLY came out to be upward direction so our assumption is correct here likewise we will just use another equilibrium condition that is summation of f y equals to 0 and we will just assume that upward direction is positive and we will just take out the forces in the upward and downward directions and we will equate this value equals to 0 so that we can easily find out the values of unknown here so in this case RLY plus RAY equals to 20 so if you just uh, sum of all the forces that is acting on this joints then it will be 20 here so 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so there is 6 ones sorry 5 ones and there are 5 into 3 15 so it's gonna be 20 here so if you solve this RAY will come out to be 12.5 kilonewton likewise if we just take summation of forces in x direction equals to 0 then our x will be coming out to be 0 isn't it so again uh, we need to find out certain angles in the given truss so we have assumed this angle this angle made by af with the horizontal is theta so we have assumed that so we will firstly find out the value of this theta so this theta uh, will be coming out to be 10 inverse 8 by 15 so that theta will be coming out to be 28.07 degree and if we uh, if you like to find out this angle alpha then it come out to be 61.92 degree likewise in this triangle ghi we can find out the height of this hi so this height of this hi can be given with the help of the similar triangle so if you consider this whole triangle f g l and a small triangle h 
i l then we can easily find out the height of si that comes out to be 5.33 meters and if we just assume this angle made by this gs with the horizontal direction be beta then this beta will come out to be 50 sorry 46.83 degree now friends after finding out the support reactions now we need to cut a section so here we need to determine the member forces in FH, GH and GI. So we will cut a section like this. So we will cut a section like this. This is because if we cut the section like this, then the member forces of, to be find out that is GI, GH and FH can easily find out. So we need to cut a section uh, like this in this case. Okay. Now friends, we have got the section 1 1 as shown in the figure and we have just assumed that this section, we, we consider only the sections in the left side only. So we have assumed the forces in the members that is in the cord portion as F, FH, this is the force in the member FH and again the cord portion force, this is F is the force in the member GS and another is force in the member GI. So we have just assumed that all these forces coming out to be tensile. So this is our assumption. We have just assumed that these forces may be tension. So it is not necessary that it will always come out to be tension. If it come out to be compression that is negative, then we will just write in the answer that it is compression. So now here are three unknowns there are three unknown member forces and we have to find out these unknown forces so we have the three equation of equilibrium and for finding the three unknowns we can use the equilibrium of conditions okay so at first we will just use the equilibrium conditions taking the summation of moment at point z equals to zero and if we just take clockwise movement as positive then we will find the member force in f h that is f f h equals to minus 13.81 kilo newton so this indicates that what we have assumed this f h we assumed is as tensile but it is not actually tensile but it is compressive so we need to write this member force in f h is 13.81 kilo newton that is compressive again now we need to find out the remaining two forces for that we just take the another equilibrium conditions that is summation fy equals to zero upward positive then we will find out the value of force in gs member fgs equals to minus 1.368 kilonewton again this we can see that uh, there is negative sign here so we have to be ascertain that this f that is force in the member gs is again compressive likewise we need to uh, write another equilibrium condition as summation of fx equals to zero and if we assume that rightward direction forces are positive then there will be the fgi fgi equals to 13.12 kilo newton will be the remaining forces so this can be seen as the positive so if you solve this equation then the member force in gi will be coming out to be 13.12 kN. this is tensile force finally friends we will show the table showing the member with its magnitude and its nature so the member fh having magnitude is 13.81 kN, with its nature compressive likewise gh is 1.368 kilonewton with this compressive nature likewise the remaining member gi having its magnitude 13.12 kilonewton with its tensile nature so this is the way we can find out the member forces in the given truss with the help of the section method